Hello, brothers and sisters, co-workers in the Lord. The word, you know, an interesting word I want to throw out there and have you consider today is the word kingdom, or the phrase kingdom of God, kingdom of heaven. I ask you to do some research. Check in your dictionary and find out the definition of the word kingdom. And likely you're going to get a definition of a state or territory ruled or governed by a king or queen. That is, a state or territory ruled by a king or queen. Now, if you consider Earth a territory, then this territory, which is Earth that we're living on, is ruled by King Jesus, the creator of heaven and Earth. So therefore, if heaven is a kingdom, then earth will be a satellite nation or a colony of heaven. Therefore, we are under the rulership or the watchful eyes of a king. His name is Jesus. And what does that mean? I think part of what it means is if you look deeply into what the word definition of the kingdom means is that a king holds the entire responsibility of taking care of all the citizen, citizens of that nation. That's why I believe Jesus said to the disciple, why are you praying for bread? Why are you praying for water? Why are you concerned about what you're going to wear or not? The king knows these things, and it's his responsibility to make sure that these needs are met. But what he says, seek ye first the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven, the culture of God, the culture of heaven, and all these other things automatically will be yours. But if you're asking for these things, therefore you don't understand what it means to be part of or a citizen of a kingdom. So I just want you to think about that. If you're in a kingdom and you are a citizen of that kingdom, what does that mean? God bless you.